Hi guys, it's me Jimmy Intel is back in the game to compete with AMD APU. If you don't know APU, APU is CPU plus GPU equal APU, but Intel is not going to call APU definitely, right? So the Intel i7 5775C is a Broadway 5th generation CPU from Intel, but that give you a GTX 750 performance. Are you kidding with me? You will be saying, right? Definitely not. You can check out the full story in the description box below. Intel just launched the fifth generation Broadwell processor, but they are really freaking expensive. And the Intel i7 5775C is a first 40 nanometer CPU from Intel. And then basically, AMD even skipped the 22 nanometer. And then let's see, will they launch the 40 nanometer CPU or not? Intel i7 5775C is coming at $360 price point, which is only $23 less compared to the six core Intel i7 5820K and the mode $16 compared to the Intel i7 4970K CPU. Intel 5775C is basically a four core CPU with a thread with a base clock speed of 3.3 gigahertz and a turbo clock speed of 3.7 gigahertz so basically it's weaker in a base, base clock speed than i7 4970k which is $16 cheaper the intel i7 5775c is using the LGA1 using the LGA1150 socket using the uh, the Z97 chipset and then basically the most of the LGA 1150 motherboard will work if they are using the Z97 chipset. So even I have include the MSI motherboard for the Intel i7 5775C in the description link below. Intel i7 5775C is coming at 65 watt only when you compare to the i7 14970K which is coming at 88 watt and then when you compare to the 6 core i7 5820K which is coming at a whopping 140 watt of TDP. The Intel i7 5775C only is having 6 megabyte of L3 cache when you compare to the i7 14970K which is having the 8 megabyte of L3 cache and then when you compare to the i7 5820K which is having a whopping 50 15 megabyte of L3 cache. You will be saying, Jimmy, why is so so expensive? The Intel i7 5775C is less powerful than the last year i7 4790K and it's having less core, only 4 core. Even it's having the less L3 cache. The real answer lies in the Irish Pro Graphics 6200i GPU, which they are calling it iGPU. It is using 64 megabytes of eDRAM. I mean, eDRAM cache. eDRAM cache is a new basically cache which is freaking expensive to use. Even the Xbox One is using this kind of cache with their DDDR3 8 gigabyte RAM. So, it's really, I mean, the own GPU on the Intel 5775C is really worth it. I mean, the Intel. Iris Pro Graphics 6200 iGP is really worth it. So now let me give you a few benchmark. GTA 5 720p benchmark lowest set setting. The GTA 750 graphic card give you 23 frames per second, and then the i7 5775C give 42 frames per second running the game on the Iris Pro 6200 iGPU on it. You can check out all the benchmark of the games in the description box below so in conclusion i will say i don't know how to say the price i mean i will not game on it i will not game i'm i'm not going to game on the igpu on this chip i775 c i'm not to game on it to be honest with you i'm i just will go with a dedicated graphic card i don't know how to say in conclusion i will not buy i will skip i will just go with the sky lag processor i mean i will just skip this one i will say if you want to game on it just buy the intel i7 6700k processor and buy a dedicated gpu that's all i will say in conclusion it's freaking expensive i mean or i will say just buy a six core processor for more 23 bucks and a buy a dedicated graphic or buy a dedicated GTX 750 Ti or R92 8070 whatever you want to buy so you can check out the description box below I'm not impressed I'm not going to buy I mean yeah it's okay I mean yeah 
i7 5775c a little bit powerful or i mean like in gts giving 42 frame per second compared to the dedicated graphical gtx 750 only 23 but still i will get a higher and or mid range dedicated graphical rather than gaming on the gpu and cpu on itself yeah it's me g bye bye